it just didn't go as planned. Thanks so much for watching and I know it has been a while that I don't post anything. That footage you just saw probably was beginning of October or so. I, I, I wasn't able to do anything and uh, besides we have a big problem here. So I did all that kind of thing, all the painting looks amazing. I'm gonna show you here uh, before we end uh, the video how it's looking like, so stay tuned for it. But once I put everything together and back together in the car and I start the car, sounds pretty normal. I was like, all right. And I saw everything I did. So just to give you a summary, I took the valve covers, intake manifold, throttle body out, I painted, I clean everything, and that was it. Put everything back together. In my mind, it's like, okay, let's go, good to go, let's drive. So I start the car, and the car sounds normal, you know, a camped car at idle, 800 RPM, 850, something like that, but I didn't have a chance to drive. So I started the car, put it on my driveway, and then I was going to drive two weeks later or something like that. My first drive, I noticed uh, something was funny. So if I was going from, uh, I stop, which sounds normal, and I start driving, start revving high, even though I wasn't that much on the throttle. I was like, this is weird. And then when I was coming to a stop and I put it to neutral, hat was revving way higher, 2,500 RPMs. So I will show you guys some footage here so you can see what I'm talking about. Third is already revving high. So now I'm in third gear and I'm gonna pull uh, neutral. Look, watch what happened. Look, I'm gnawing the gas and look. See, it doesn't look in neutral. I'm not in the gas. I'm not in the gas at all. I'm just nothing. No brakes, no clutch, nothing. Look, look how high it's heavy. Look. See? Now I'm gonna come to the full stop. She's too heavy or high. Now she's gonna slow down. Look at how weird it stays though. And you tell me if this is normal or not. So at this point, I, it's out of my control what to do. Uh, she drives. See, there's no lights on the dash, nothing. She drives, but it's just idling and super high. Look, I'm gonna put a third gear. Third gear right there. And I'm gonna put a neutral. See, it doesn't come down. Look, going up. She will come to a full stop and then she's going back to where it should be. So okay. as you see, it's super weird. It's even hard to explain and get on camera, uh, but that was the problem. I drove the car and uh, I just want to address the possible problems before you guys start commenting what I should look at and what I should not. So remember, this has been like a month ago. First thing that I thought and I did my research is like, I took everything out without disconnecting the battery. Damn. Which was a mistake from my end because the throttle body needs to now relearn the blade position or you need to do a relearning process. You have two ways to do it. You can do a procedure or you can drive and then that's gonna learn by itself. One important thing to mention as well is, is no check engine lights, zero, nothing, right? So I had this big show in Smithville, which I made a video about it. Uh, and I drove back and forth. It's probably a hundred, between 150, 170 miles. So I drove and I was like, okay, if I drive that much, I should be able to make the throttle body relearn the blade position. Back and forth, car is still doing the same. So I didn't have too much time uh, to get into it because a bunch of stuff happens. If you guys saw, I lost my beloved Pat Mia. And so everything I put in a pause because losing a Pat is not something that it's easy to, to deal with. 
So that changes all the dynamics of your house or the routine. I have my little one to explain with. And of course, I miss her so much. Um, I'm not gonna talk too much because I don't wanna get emotional, but long story short, she had um, a bad cancer, a very aggressive cancer on her stomach. And in a month, she started losing weight and we did everything we could, um, but she didn't, uh, she didn't make it. Uh, I love her so much, I miss her so much. So because of that, I had to put a pause on all my other projects. So, because I had to spend time with her and this crazy going to vet, going trying to figure out what it is. We did everything we could to save her. So that took a lot of time from me, my wife, between my, my wife, the house, my little dog and my son. So I was like, now it's not time to do anything regard like about cars. So I put a pause on it, uh, really hard. Mia, Rip, we love you, we miss you. So if you have a patch, you know what I'm talking about. So that's why I didn't drive the car that much, right? Uh, and okay, time went by. A couple of friends invited me to go to a drive. I was like, I'll drive a little bit more. And here we go. So I came back. I drove and nothing fixed the car again. I was hoping that this relearning thing would happen at some point, but it didn't happen. So what I did, uh, I called my good buddy and friend Joe. He's a LS specialist. And he came over, I tried to explain to him over the phone, but it was so hard. He's like, dude, I don't know what you're talking about. So he came over, we drove the car and he's like, dude, this is weird. So let's go by elimination. So I wanna give you guys a rundown of what we did to try to fix. First thing we did was checking for check engine lights because that would mean that would mean that some uh, some sensors have been failure during the process. No check engine lights. Uh, another thing to remember: I replaced all the intake manifold gaskets and throttle body gas gaskets, so everything is brand new underneath of the intake manifold, right? So we went by elimination. When you have some problem like this, they, okay, we eliminate the fact that the, the relearning process didn't happen. So the only thing possible, if you don't have any check engine lights, you have a vacuum leak, which I was hoping to see a vacuum leak. So Joe was gracious enough to come over and bring, as, you know, and bring a smoke machine so we could do the, the smoke test. The smoke test, basically, you, you have this machine that pumps is smoke through the engine so you can see if you have any vacuum links through the cracks or if you have any bad holes or anything unfortunately i don't have any 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 footage of it so we did the entire uh smoke dash the machine was running for about, i don't know 10 minutes nothing we didn't get anything not a little uh leak so we eliminate that one it's not a vacuum leak so the next thing we did, we went to the sensors, map sensor check, map sensor checks, all the wiring we check. Let's see if we don't, you know, there's no a wire missing or maybe I'm, my mistake, uh, I just pinch a wire or something. Nothing. We did it over everything. I even tried a different throttle body to make sure that my throttle body wasn't good. Omi, my good friend and neighbor Omi, he was gracious enough to you know, he had his LS3 throttle body sitting around. I went there, I grabbed it, put it in the car, still the same thing. So that couple of days went by, we couldn't figure it out. So we tried a different, instead of checking, because sometimes you can have a bad sensor, but now it's not throwing you a light. So what we did, Joe has a LS2 car at his shop. I went there, we swapped all the map sensor, map sensors from that LS2 to mine to make sure that my sensors uh, were working properly. So we did it, nothing. So the last thing we tried, Joe came over with his Nepon uh, 2. So we were trying, so we could try to reset the throttle body position. So we tried that uh, and we checked for some uh, uh, old codes that you know might be there that, that tool can read codes that were uh, there in the past for some reason 
uh, you will have a you know a bad sensor for a couple of seconds and that went back that tool can read that so that tool saw that my math sensor was bad uh, throw a track engine uh, light at some point but we tested my my sensor is good may have no idea how much research I did. <laughs> that was crazy but at the end of the day uh, we didn't find anything. The car he, he still has the same issue, I didn't fix it. So what are we gonna try now? And that's the only thing that we, and when I say we, it's because me and Joe are going back and forth of days. I have other friends that we are talking about this. I think my car got tuned with a, a vacuum leak, a small vacuum leak. And then once I put everything back together, I fixed that vacuum leak. And now my tune is out of whack. I'm taking my car to a different tuner next week. I, I always want a CSP to tune my car. And that's what I'm taking my car to. And there's nothing wrong with the guy who tuned my car before. The only thing is, I know, I want to try something different. And that's the good thing when you don't have, like, you are not attached to anybody. Like, uh, I, I paid for my dyno session. I paid for all my material, everything. So I don't have a sponsor. I don't need to go to a specific shop so I can try a different one. And again, he did an amazing job. My car was driving so good before this. And now I wanna try something different to see the difference, right? To see if that drives better, if a, a different dyno, a different tuner, a different kind of weather makes a difference in how much power she puts down. And that's what I'm going to do. I believe the problem is going to be on the tune. And if it's not, I ask CSCP if they can give me an uh, uh, idea what's going on. And I'm, I'm quite sure my car is not going to leave that shop uh, without being fixed. That's my goal. That's what uh, you know, I'm hoping for. And that's, that's what's happened. <laughs> um, has been a really uh, frustrating journey, but at the same time, I'm learning so, so much and you gotta look at the bright side of it, right? So that's the update. Uh, I'm taking the car to CSP to get tuned again. And I don't know if I'm gonna have any footage for you guys. I will try because my car has to be, has to be there. I cannot just wait. First, because I don't have time, I can't just keep work to have a dyno session. CSP is not close to my house at all. Uh, and they are not, the, the schedule they have, they they cannot, like, I cannot go in the morning and get the car tuned and so on and so forth. I have to leave the car there. I will give my best to give you guys uh, footage. If we, uh, we don't have footage, I will definitely show you guys uh, how much power make if they've got fixed and what was the fix i hope it's on the tune um but that's pretty much it so let me show you guys here uh how the entire thing looks like looks pretty cool though that's the good thing so it looks super cool though look at that how cool that looks and which i didn't show you guys is this jake's cool uh decal that i put on that was supposed to be on the video but i didn't have time the footage got all messed up but look at that look how good that looks right looks super clean super good the throttle body is painted I, I i i believe it's on the tune though there's no way it's something else but this is gonna be a good challenge for me to learn more and share more about this maybe you guys are gonna face the same thing that's part of having a project car nothing wrong with it uh, I like it because I learn a lot and I know a lot of you guys are afraid to touch your car because things like this but I just want to encourage you that this is part of the learning process you're never gonna learn if you don't try if you don't make mistakes if you don't you know uh, screw it up here and there if you only take to somebody to deal with your car which is fine there's nothing wrong with it but if you want to if you have the desire to learn that's what you're going you have to go through this there's no way around there's no shortcuts you gotta learn right i'll keep you guys posted on what's going on and uh, i hope i can get some footage on the dyno and let's see how much power she makes and if it's anything different that I have. Now, right now, she last time she made 424, I think 422, something like that. So let's see if she 
picks up some power or she makes less power i'll keep you guys posted i hope you guys enjoy if you're here make sure to subscribe if you're here until now you're the real mvp i really appreciate it i appreciate the support about my dog and family and i hope you guys understand right i'll catch you guys the next one never forget enjoy your life and work hard for it